Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can add a trend line or you can say a simple linear regression line uh, to the scatter chart. So let's get started. First, we will discuss uh, three different examples to before we will be plotting it on Power BI Canvas. So I have a Excel workbook uh, in which I have three different examples. Let me explain you so to add a linear regression in 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 a scatter chart uh, we we in the first example we have two columns and this is transform as in table so there are two uh, you can say variables are there x and y x is independent whereas y is dependent so salesperson is the x and sales is the y so whenever uh, one salesperson add in the data the sales has been increasing with with the, the same difference so every time you can observe with the data set that every time we increase a salesperson one salesperson a difference of 10 is increase in the sales volume another example we have where we have where in in this data set we have again two columns salesperson and sales and this particular examples when whenever we are adding one new salesperson either the sale is increasing or decreasing and not with the same difference the difference is also different so sometimes the sale is increasing by 10 or 12 uh, variance or either it's a positive or a negative variance okay so how to uh, deal with this kind of a data set and then we have uh, one more example where we have a variable x as an independent uh, is the average house price and then we have uh, four y variables which is the dependent variables uh, years old that how much years old that construction has been made to that house number of rooms uh, area in square yards and the current price of that particular house so there is one average price which is the x and we have four different uh, variables of y so we will plot these three different uh, scenarios in in the power bi to add a trend line or a simple linear regression so how are we gonna do that it's very simple so so far I have uh, imported that Excel workbook into my Power BI and uh, here on this blank canvas we will just click on the scatter chart which is available in the visualizations pane so when you click on it a blank scatter chart will appear this so this is a blank object we need to fill uh, the relevant fields here in this fields pane so what what we're gonna do is we will take the first example where we have salesperson as in X and then sales as Y and all we will also put the sales in the details as well right so in the X axis instead of the count of salesperson we will select the sum of salesperson okay and then you can see that uh, whenever there is one salesperson is being added the sales is increasing with the same uh, difference right now we want to add uh, a line so we will click on this magnifier icon or you can say analytics so when you click on that analytics button uh, you will you will get uh, the first option which you call trend line so expand that option just click on that and click on add so you you get a line here right so let's move towards the next data set now again we will click on scatter chart so we will have a blank scatter chart here and in the second example where we have again salesperson and sales but sales sometimes decreases sometimes increases so we will have that dots in, in a different position you can say so we have table 4 here and we will just drag and drop the two fields salesperson and sales and uh, on y-axis we will also plot the sales here right so now you can see that uh, with the increase of every one salesperson either the sales decreases or increases and let me just check if everything is correct that's related to the sum salesperson is in the details and uh, salesperson should be in the uh, y-axis as well and instead of count you will select sum here right now this is this is the correct uh, 
visualization of that particular data set where we have uh, uh, the sales which is either decreasing or increasing uh, whenever we add one more salesperson now we need to uh, create a line a straight line with with a best fit line okay so we will click on this magnifier or the analytics you can say we will expand this trend line and just click on add button so you will have the best fit line a simple linear regression okay uh, the last example uh, the data set which we have where we have one independent variable average house price and when and we have uh, four dependent variables why so let's see how it looks like and uh, remember that I have generated a random value so it would depict a different picture until you have the real-time data set so we have the scatter chart here which is blank and we will put the uh, the field which is a uh, plot in the x-axis which is the average house price right so I will drag in the x-axis and uh, let's say in in the y axis i want to see the years old okay and with the details in the details either i can plot the years old or i can go with another uh, different uh, variable which is of y so i will put the current house price in the details so you can see that uh, there are a lot of dots are in this particular area whereas some some are going very far that can be called as outliers and as I told you that I have generated random value so that this this why this behavior is going on in this particular visualization so now what you need to do is a best fit line for this particular visual so we will click on this analytics adding a trend line just expand this option and click on add and you will get the best fit line here right so this is how uh, adding a trend line to a scatter chart or doing a simple linear regression as power bi is very simple i hope you like this video do share it thank you